Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam was the most patient man on this earth. Allah gave him healthy and prosperous life. But he never got arrogant, but he helped others. He used to say Alhamdulillah and prostrate more and more after getting a blessing from Allah. Allah was very happy with him. Once two angels were talking about Prophet Ayyub alayhi salam. They were saying Ayyub alayhi salam is the best person on this earth. Allah had chosen him just because of his obedience, patience and ibadah. He is a good exam of a true believer in Allah. Because of these qualities, Allah granted him a long wealthy life, good health and many children. He is very good with family, friends and servants. He frees the slaves and spend money on the poor. Shaitan was listening to all this. He got angry with jealousy. He wanted to snatch all his wealth and prosperity. He tried many tricks to stop Yaqub salam, but he was steadfast. He never stopped good deeds. After failing one day, Shaitan recalled Allah and said, O oh Allah, Yaqub is so grateful just because he has everything in his life. His life is full of blessings. I challenge if you would snatch all his blessings, he would be complaining and no more grateful to you. Allah replied, No, it would not happen. He would not lose his dignity and gratefulness if he had nothing. Shaitan said, O oh Allah, allow me to do so. I will snatch all from him and mislead him. Hence, he would be ungrateful. Allah said, Go and do whatever you can. You will find my servant more obedient and patient. Then Shaitan started his job. He recalled all his helpers. He started from his wealth and business. He destroyed all his field and killed his cattle. Nothing was left. And then Shaitan went to meet Ayub salam in the form of an old man and show his empathy. He said, you lost all your wealth. It is very sad. It is just because you were always busy in your ibadah and you don't look after your business. On the other side, you were giving a lot of sadka, but Ayub salam did not agree with him. He said, it is just a trial from Allah and Allah is very kind to me always. Then he started to prostrate. Shaitan was disappointed. Now the devil was more in anger. Then Shaitan thought that everyone loved his children and family. So I would attack his family. He called all his helpers and attacked his house. His helper lifted the house of Ayub al Islam and crashed down. All his children died in this incident. Only his wife was alive. Ayub salam heard this news with a broken heart. He was worried and sad, but he didn't complain. Shaitan went to meet him again as a friend and said, You are a true believer of Allah and a very true servant of Allah. Allah did this very wrong with you. Ayub salam said, It is Allah's will. It is trial from Allah. He gives and take it back. Then Ayub al Islam started to prostrate Allah gratefully. Shaitan was in great anger. He was burning with anger, but he was not disappointed. He came back with another super idea. Now he was going to attack his health. He wanted him to make him so weak that he could not do ibadah. So Ayub al Islam was affected with a very bad skin allergy. His disease was so bad that even his relatives and people of the village left him and kicked out of him of the village. He started to live in a hut outside the village with his wife. His wife took care of him. He got sick for a long time.
he was very patient he never cried he was still praising allah he and his wife were spending their time in ibada shaitan was fair he was shocked he thought how a man could be so patient he has nothing but still praises allah he thought no man could escape from me he was wending around the hut suddenly he saw the wife of ayub alayhi salam and an idea click into his mind he went to meet her and show his sympathy he asked about ayub alayhi salam and said ah oh, what a big loss once there was a time you had everything you had many children and good wealth but now there is no one with you ayub alayhi salam is a true servant of allah but allah is not helping him my heart is weeping for you the woman started to cry then she returned to her husband and said my dear you are a pious servant of allah why you don't pray to allah to ease our troubles and end our trial ayub alayhi salam got angry and said oh my poor wife allah gave us everything for several years and now you want me to complain to allah for a short trial i know you are trapped by shaitan i will beat you to a hundred brooms when i am healthy again now go away i don't need you the wife was regretful she went out meanwhile then the angel of allah came to meet ayub alayhi salam he said you are successful allah is happier with you now your trial has ended Ayub alayhi salam disease has disappeared. Her wife returned back. He full 